What is up guys? Welcome back. Uh, today we're going to be doing a little bit more upgrades on the bike. Sorry if my voice and my, everything sounds horrible. Still don't feel the best. Uh, currently the weekend, so we figured we'd get out here and play with it a little bit. I'll show you what I've already done. I took the windscreen off, mainly because I'm getting ready to put 14 inch ape hangers on it. And you can't use the windshield. When you do that so we took the windshield off we upgraded the lights like a led kind of thing i got the led running lights and then the center big light with the halo it looks awesome when it's on led thing there thing looks awesome those things are only about 100 bucks on amazon actually i'll turn them on for you and show you what they look like It doesn't come across on camera too well, but it's very bright. <laughs> it adds a lot of visibility. I never actually saw them at night with the stock lights. I, didn't, I can't tell how bright it was, but that had to have been brighter than the stock ones. I'm um, waiting on, I got smoke lenses coming for the front and the back. And the purpose of today's video, well, to start today's video, will be this. This is the deep row like it's like 12 led kit like changes it to all different kinds of colors and you could change it to set the music and all that and this one here like whatever color you have this the set set to say if you're running blue as a wire you hook up to the brake light and whenever you press the brake lights every light turns red while you have the brakes pressed and then when you let it go, it goes back to the same color. Uh, it'll beat to music and all that good stuff. I'm not exactly sure where we're going to put them at, but we'll, and I doubt we'll even use all of them to tell you the truth, <laughs> but we will figure it out. No one can go right there. Ain't that seat? That would look good. Maybe one up here. There's a lot of, there's a lot of lights in that kit. We'll take it out of the box here in a minute and show you. So I know, like I said, I got smoke lenses coming. For that, so I have to put some lights on the back. Maybe that'll look pretty cool. All right, let me open the box here, and I'll show you what we're doing. And the uh, the ape hangers, that'll be its own video because I have to lengthen the two lines on the front and the throttle cables. All that stuff is coming. So we got the ape, the hanger, the handlebars will be here today, and the rest of the stuff throughout the week so it might be a over a couple of day period of having the bike taken apart but I know today we'll have to at least pull that tank off which is easy and then these front plastic fairing pieces sorry my lighting is not the best in the garage I only got that thing and I only got that light over there I could turn on Let's see what that does oh, there we go that's a little better like I said, let me show you what's in the box here and we'll go from there. All right, guys, here we go. This is all the stuff that comes in that little kit there. You got four of these, which each one has a connector on it. So all this is, all this is plug and play. The only connectors you need to hook up is the ones to the battery. And then this blue one goes to the brake lights to work that brake light feature. Uh, but you got like four of these long extensions. Each each one of these can be plugged into one of those lights. I don't know if we'll put the whole system on the bike, but it's got three of these smaller ones. It's a two-way, little shorter pieces. And then you got your main harness, which just works off of one plug right there. You just plug that one in and then just split it off as you need. So there's that. And you got three different sets of wires. You got four of these long ones. You got four of these medium sized ones and four of the small small ones. And you can you can cut these to whatever size you need. There's a little line here I'll show you. It's got copper line right there with the four copper contacts. 
that's where you'll cut it if you need to have a certain length if it's not short enough or so just make sure you want to cut it first because once you cut it it's pretty much that going to be that length there's no putting it back together comes with some instructions that are pretty decent because I read over them uh, got a couple sticky pads so you can stick down the control boxes and stuff and you got a little card here with their information on it just in case you need help with something and this little wiring harness here is fused and this is the kill switch which you probably put this up like on top of the handlebar somewhere where you can get to it so I get the bike all taken apart here and just the really the two seats the saddlebags and the gas tank and then the rest of it I can deal with I'll come back when I get that done all right we got it all taken apart here we're actually working on lighting up the back end I've already got one light on can't really see it see it underneath there that's the whole idea so you don't have to see it because when it's on and the saddlebags are over that it'll just be glowing out from behind that and on the mufflers what this is is gaffer's tape I'm gonna gaff tape the cord to the fender as it wraps around in there you won't be able to see all that whenever I get the seats back on well you might be able to see that so I might go up a little bit uh, like that and then gaffer tape that and then I'm gonna put gaffer tape from here to there that's where the saddlebag rides and eventually over time it's gonna scuff that paint and I don't want to do that so this stuff releases cleanly so it's perfect and we're gonna put that we're gonna fasten the light on the other side all right I'll be back when I do that the bars are here nice let's see what they look like guys we got our our bars this should be the 14 inch I'll pop these suckers open and see what they look like oh my goodness they are a little bigger than I expected they would be let me get them out of the wrapper here it's amazing I'm not even waiting I'm gonna put them on the bike that's the before hang on for the after all right and there's just a taste of what they look like on the bike and things are big but they're the perfect height for me so I'm gonna try and uh, I'm gonna try and uh, put a thing on there I'm gonna try and put all the controls on that pretty sure something's gonna be too short but I don't care we're gonna figure it out all right guys I do apologize I didn't record any of it like the last thing you see me record was taking the handlebars out of the package that was the last thing I recorded. That was like five hours ago. I've been working on this thing for a while. But in all, we did the LED lights and the handlebars. Now the handlebars, I still need to get, I'm waiting on that one brake line for the front, which actually I'm going to make both front and the clutch. So I can't drive it. I ain't got the thing bled yet. So but I can still show it to you. So here it is, guys. Hope you like it. Those are the 14 inch apes. I'm gonna do something, I wanna do something a little smaller with a little smaller mirror. Those are a little too tall. Those are 14 inch. They're made for a Harley. Maybe a one inch mounting bracket. It'll work up, it'll work too. And the LEDs, I actually got a remote. It's actually got two remotes. But we'll put it on, turn it on green there. I got it on cycle where it just goes through the colors. That's amazing. I like that. So you can go to separate colors. Like, uh, let's see. Uh, let's see here. Flash, strobe, then you got. Steady colors, you got red, 
and green and all that all that other colors pretty much all the colors there it's got teal <laughs> my little girl's gonna really like that it's got lights all along the top of the motor in the front above the uh, underneath the shocks right there and it's got it's got two back here that shine down from behind the saddlebags you can kind of see them reflecting right there kind of got most of the wires hid so I did get the you know, gaff tape on there to protect that and to hold these wires right there you can barely see them but yeah guys like I said I just have to I still have to zip tie these wires to the handlebars but I think it'll work I like it I can't get over the handlebars that's awesome I went from a stock little tiny cruiser bars to uh, apes so let me uh let me show you what I look like on it if you want to. All right, there we go. Hopefully it'll stay and not fall. Excuse my Christmas pants, but this is what I have. And you can't even see my face. I'm just really showing you my hands, really. There, the hands will be there, like that. Can't press the clutches and anything like that, but there you go. I just use the wrench pants. It's that's what's comfortable. Good for this video guys hope you enjoyed stay tuned for more we're gonna close this video out with a video of the sunset thanks for watching